Okay, this is the last thing before Christmas time. And if you're kind of late doing um, a Christmas card or something, this should be really quite easy for you. So you want an ellipse there and have it at a slight angle. And take two lines out parallel-ish like that and then join them with a curve at the end. And that will give you your log, okay? <laughs> and your spiral kind of bit will be a bit like that. And then all you really need to do is add some a little bit of holly to make it look Christmassy. So put four little berries like that, a curve there and a curve there and a curve there and a curve there, which is gonna kind of go like that. Then you're gonna want it on a kind of one of those serving boards, cake board, cake board, that's the word for it, isn't it? There we go. So you can start by drawing in the first berry there and then the second berry behind it and the third behind that and the fourth behind it again. Then put in these curves. These are the ribs of the holly. And then just flick these out into holly leaves. Flick, curve, 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 and down. And then you need a kind of a crumbly line for the kind of chocolatiness of the Yule log cake and just make it very crumbly really hmm and crumbly around there maybe put, put little dots to the end of it and then you're going to want to have a, a kind of a crumbly spiral going into the middle and here you're going to want sort of crumbly lines going across and start about there and then these can be quite close together and then they can get a little further apart as you go down. So it's kind of got a ambient light coming up underneath. So these are kind of quite close together. And then as you go around, you can make them just get slightly, slightly further and further apart. And it's a kind of a wiggly, scribbly wiggle line they're just getting very slightly further apart, which gives it a bit of a curve to it. We're going to have the light coming down from this direction, so we can maybe put a bit of shadow in across there, and probably a bit of shadow coming in from the leaf, like that, and underneath the berries. And as that leaves gets further away from the log, then the shadow kind of detaches from it, if that makes any sense at all. So maybe put some little inner ribs on the holly. Although I think in reality they would be kind of a pale green on a dark green. So I'm kind of doing it the wrong way around. And then we want the cake boards. So I'm going to draw around like that. And then this part here I'm going to bring around and just kind of dot it there, this will come around and then I'll just kind of dot to there. And like I said, then the, the light is coming this direction. So I'm going to shade this and then I'm going to put some shadow there. And we might get a bit of shadow here as well, just to make that a bit more interesting. When you are sure it is dry, you can erase those pencil lines and no one will ever know how you drew it. Now you can leave it like that as a pencil drawing or let's colour it in. And uh, I'm going to start with just a little bit of kind of silver on the board here just to give it a kind of a silver paper kind of wash. Not very convincing. <laughs> and then we're going to want these berries. Now don't paint them in completely. Leave a little sort of blob of white like that. If you want to make them a bit more intense, then drop in a bit of darker red, just down there. Quite a bluey green. Now I want a slight hint of yellow green in that. It's not. I don't think holly berries are that bluey green, are they? People keep asking me about this brush. It's a. This is an aqua brush. Sometimes I use this. It's an aqua brush, and sometimes I use a. Um, Derwent water brush, and this is just the first one that came to hand. This is a Pentel Aqua brush. And the water is in the handle, 
I'll put Amazon links down below. Now that's just doing kind of two tones of green on there. And then all we need is to fill in this chocolate log and I'm going to start off with, uh, this is burnt sienna. So I'm going to paint the whole thing in burnt sienna just to give a kind of a basic chocolatey kind of colour. And then I'm going to add in some sepia, which I'm also going to add in where the shadow is, kind of underneath there. So we really want the sepia down here and then we can let it uh, mix in some oh, burnt sienna, let it kind of roll up so that it's not all dark and <laughs> it's get, getting lighter to the top there. Can you see what I mean? I hope so. <laughs> and then again we'll do round on the side there. And a bit more shadow there. And I think we should have a bit of sort of shadow something going on there. And around there probably. And this is probably where I'm going to ruin it, but I'm going to just add little bits of kind of dusting on the top there. Maybe a bit of swirling around the edge like that on the end. Uh, is that convincing as dusting? I don't know. We could probably put a bit on there too. There you are. How to draw a Christmas log and a very Merry Christmas to you. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, why not go and learn how to draw and paint a Christmas Nutcracker soldier? That's very seasonal. Oh, have a go at the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel. And why not go and get my ebook? Everyone can draw. It's very, very cheap and very, very good. Uh, just click on the link and off you go. In the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. <laughs> and have a very, very happy Christmas if you do all that kind of thing. Otherwise, happy holidays to everybody. You take care now. Bye-bye.